Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to go ahead and make a second quick video on how to secure your Synology NAS right here. I just got this a few weeks ago and it is so important to be um, secure. Now this channel isn't gonna cover everything NAS. I do a lot on this channel, um, but this is more just like a bridge between two things that I do, which is 3D and then we do scale models, things that have to do with 3D printing and production and uh, and so forth for different projects so um the thing about security is that you can never be too secure there's really no way for making something completely hack proof but there are many ways to make it really challenging i'm going to go ahead and show you guys today on how to make this even more secure so secure that it can be compared to online banking i'm not kidding so there's going to be three steps we're going to be doing the first step is we're going to be doing two-factor authentication which means you're going to need your phone to be able to get into your synology nas if you don't have your phone you can still use email so one way or another you can find a way to get in the second thing we're going to be doing i'm going to be showing you guys is um doing auto block so if somebody tries to enter your account like as if it's online banking for example and they put in the wrong password they literally have one minute to put in another try to do another password and if they fail that a second time they can only do it one more time with one minute left in the clock before they're completely locked out for good and that's just how online banks do it and there's a way to do that um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that one. And then for number three, we're going to go ahead and install a firewall to be able to block any IP address or every IP address from specific countries that I want to block. So I'm going to make this one real brief today. This is part two. Let's get started. So this is for the two-factor authentication. We're just going to go ahead and uh, click on enable two-factor verification wizard setup. So basically, you're just going to go over this and it's going to explain how to do it. It's a really simple wizard. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on next. And then here, I'm gonna put an email that I want uh, the f wizard to send the um, information to. And then I'll use this to install the Authenticator app on my phone. I already have one set up on my phone, but you can you scan this uh, QR code here and it'll open it up for you so you can download the app. And there you go. That's all you're going to need for the two-factor authentication. Then it's going to send you the uh, password either in your email or on your Authenticator app. And you just go ahead and click on that and it's done. It's all set up. So the first thing I'm going to do on the desktop is I'm going to go to Control Panel. And then um, there's a button here that says advanced mode. If you don't see it, click on that. You'll see more options. Click on security. Then in the left menu here, you'll see uh, where it says security. You'll be able to click on firewall and then account at the top here. And then when you click on that, that's where you enable it. So I'm going to take this way down to three attempts and then a limit of one minute timer if somebody gets it wrong. And I'm also going to enable this one as well. Now, once that's all said and done, I'm just going to go ahead and click on apply and that one is done. And lastly, this is the IP blocking option. So we'll click on security here and then it's right in the firewall tab. You're just going to go ahead and enable it, create firewall, and then we're going to go ahead and edit the rules of this firewall. And I'm just going to go ahead and click it on level one and we'll leave it at level one. Next thing we'll do is we'll select it and then we're going to um, choose to edit. By doing that, we're going to go ahead and um, click on create here. And we're going to go by location. And then we're going to choose which countries we want to block. So the first thing I want to block is India. This one, we get calls all, every day, sometimes three or four times a day from scammers from that country in particular. So that's the first one to be blocked. Um, and there's a few other ones in here we want to block. We're also going to get Russia and China. Then we're going to go ahead and click on deny them. And we're just going to click on apply and it's done. And make sure that level one is set and you're good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, if you did like it, hit that subscribe button and the like. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.